I like this little infinite variable speed switch. It's kind of handy in some places. You know, I've been working with the Merca sander for several weeks now, and it's an impressive machine. There are a number of things I like about it, so I thought I'd try to quantify those things for you so you could see exactly what I'm referring to. One of the things I like, of course, is the maneuverability, and you won't realize how maneuverable this is until you actually get it into your own hands. But the things that we can measure are the things that are comfort factors like sound level, vibration, and the spin down speed so that when you're working and you stop using it, you can set it right down and do what you need to do next. Let's take a look at some of the measurements that I made. All right, now let's take a look at three different sanders and wind down speed. All right, ten and a half seconds for that one. All right, 3.88 seconds for that one. One point eight three seconds for the Merca. All right, now I've got my DB meter set up here and the sander exactly two feet away. So let's see what kind of reading we get right here. All right, we're bouncing right around the 71 that Merca lists as their specifications. All right, right here, we're getting about 83 or 84. All right, and now we'll try the old Porter cable. That's running pretty consistently, 89, 90 dB. I used a vibration measuring device to measure the vibration at the palm location for each of the three sanders. In other words, where your hand would be resting while using the sander. As you can see, the Merca sander came in first with the lowest RMS average vibration. The Festool came in an extremely close second also a very comfortable machine to use for long periods of time. The old Porter cable, that one's going to make your hand tingle after a little while. It's a little uncomfortable to use. All sanding is a matter of just moving up through the grits and reducing the scratch pattern down to a size that you just can't see it with the naked eye. Now what I'm doing now as a test is I've put an 80 grit paper on the Merca sander. And I'm going to sand this piece of walnut and give it a good scratch pattern. Now what I want to do is I want to switch all the way to a 220 grit paper. 
Now that's skipping at least one step and probably two steps. Normally you might go from 80 to 120, maybe 120 to 180, and then 180 to 220. But we're going to skip all the way to 220 and I'm going to sand half this board and we'll take a look at the scratch pattern. All right, now what we're looking for, oh, that feels nice. What we're looking for now is we're looking to see if we've managed to take out all the large scratch pattern and reduce it down to an almost invisible scratch pattern with one step. Now what I've done is I've set up a strong raking light behind the board. Typically this will allow you to see any scratch pattern in the wood. Now the whole board was sanded with 80 grit and from this knot this way was sanded with 220. The interesting thing is, is I can see no discernible scratch pattern on either side. Now this obviously doesn't feel quite as smooth. This feels much smoother. This is slick as glass, but I can't see a scratch pattern. So let's take a look at one more thing and see if we can, uh, can see any scratches in this. All right, right now what I'm doing is I'm wetting the section. This is the 80 grit side. This is the 220 grit side. And a lot of times wetting a board will allow you to see a scratch pattern better. And again, I can see no discernible scratch pattern on either side, but that's amazing. All over the business world today, there's a lot of buzz about ecosystems. With computers, tablets, and phones, there are ecosystems from Windows, Apple, and Android. In the woodworking world, the best known ecosystem is Festool, but there are others. An ecosystem simply implies that all the products are designed and built to work together seamlessly. And clearly they do. Merca has an ecosystem too with their very nice Model 912 dust extraction or vacuum system. The Model 912, which I have here, has a capacity of 30 liters, about eight gallons. It has a tool activated switch with variable speed, a manual switch with variable speed, and an internal filter cleaning system that prolongs the life of the 10 micron filter. A disposable bag inside also helps keep the filter clean and makes dust disposal a breeze. And as I mentioned before, you can purchase the Model 912 vacuum with a standard hose, but you can also get this special grounded anti-static hose with the integrated power cord in either a 5 plus meter or a 10 meter length. The vacuum is super quiet. The hose connects to the sander in such a way it'll never fall off inadvertently. But if you've already invested in the Festool ecosystem, not to worry. The end of your Festool hose fits perfectly over the Merca sander. So there's really no reason at all not to buy and enjoy the Merca sander. It will surely be the lightest, most comfortable, quietest, most efficient, and most pleasant to use sander that you've ever owned. The Merca Dero sander from Highland Woodworking.